Good morning, everybody. It's Paper Cuts by Jackie, and it's Sunday morning, and I thought I'd do the next page of the Craft With Me envelope folio. So let's get started. I've laid out a few things this morning that I want to put in here. So we left off on the other side of this one. We did this yesterday and now we're going to do this side. So I found this Elizabeth Barrett Browning poem and I want to be able to read all of it so I'm going to put on this side it as a flip. <clears throat> but I need to collage this side first. So let's get started. We'll see if our art glitter glue is cooperating today. Hope all is well with everyone. <coughs> Excuse me, I kind of congested this morning. I hope I'm not getting a summer cold. That would just be awful. So off to the left here, I have some different papers. We're just going to... Uh, tear some things and put it down and see how it goes this morning. I have a lot of things to get done today for a Sunday. Um, I was a vegetable yesterday. After I did my video, it got really hot and it makes it hard to do anything. So silly me, I sat down for lunch and never moved again. So we're going to put this right here in the corner and then I have a, what do you call them? CD, a CD holder that I had used some tattered spray on and it's like a pearlescent and I just love how they turned out so we'll put a little envelope of that down and of course some other things so here it is I hope you can see the glitter on it but maybe not so I was thinking I would hinge it on this side and then hinge my poem on this side. So that's what we're going to do. And when I do hinges, I just pull whatever I have. This is some coffee dyed lined paper. And then I just cut a strip. Save my little papers and then fold it. Let's see. We'll only hinge the envelope side. The flap we'll probably just put on the other side. And then I just fold it in half. Put my glue on half of it. So this is the side that's going to hinge this way. So this is the side I want to put my hinge on. And I just stick it down edge to edge. Got a little art glitter glue on that side, but that's okay. <clears throat> Around this corner here. So it looks like it was meant to be. Make sure we got it all. There we go. I noticed that on these um, CD folders, the little corners don't always get glued down. So I'm just gluing them down. So now I'm going to put glue on this side and then hinge it to my page. Here. 
heat has been a real challenge lately because it's been in the three digits as I said yesterday and uh, starts out kind of cool in the morning and then by 10 o'clock 11 boy you're really feeling it so now I'm gonna cover up this side <coughs> and uh, no, I've got this little piece that will look good. I don't do a lot of pre-planning when I sit down and start crafting. It takes too much brain work and then I feel unmotivated. So I just kind of wing it which I'm sure a lot of you do as well. I know that some of the ladies I watch, they've already got things pre-selected and figured out, but that's not me. I just wing it. Wing it, wing it. So I got some of these little hearts and tabs things from my Friday freebie from G. Kerr. And I thought maybe I'd add a little bit because we do have the flower theme going. I like this little heart. So I think we're going to put this little heart down. I'm not a big fan of fussy cutting, but I do do it from time to time. I should do my fussy cutting at night when I'm watching TV, but I have to concentrate so hard that then I miss the whole program and then I have to replay what I was watching. Isn't that crazy? I'm watching uh, right now on Prime uh, a series, an original Prime series called Wonderland. And of course it's, I think, an Aussie movie. Oh, well, that looks good right there. Maybe we'll take a little cheesecloth and put underneath there. Um, I need to buy some new cheesecloth because this is really raggedy but it works sometimes and so I'm just dabbing some glue down and then I'll just scrunch it up a little bit and then put my heart on a little more glue over here so it doesn't come off distress the edges a little. It looks like it's already been distressed a little bit. Thank you, G. You can feel the heat already starting of course. So there we go. Now I'll just uh, fill in this a little bit. I guess I could put a pocket in, but <coughs> I'm going to straighten this edge a little bit so when I put on my hinge, oh, I just cut off the E from Elizabeth. Oh well. And I did it very crooked. Oh well, again. Some days are like that, you know, where nothing goes the way you planned, but we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Everything's fixable in crafting, I say. This was lined paper at one point. 
old school teacher paper. The big learn to write letter kind. But when you copy dye, sometimes the dye from the paper starts to fade as well. So I'm just going to glue this hinge. other way. I have my fan going big time. <clears throat> I'm just going to tear this because I tore the top of this and then we'll just ink the whole thing up. And that will help my crooked cutting. It is a junk journal folder, so everything can't be perfect in it. But and we'll do the other side. my hinge just a little bit smaller I think because it covered this one word but I think you can read the poem anyway so now I'm just gonna glue it put it down these are kind of fun. You can make all kinds of pockets and what starts out to be one flat piece of paper has all these dimensions now. And it, to me, I love the flips. Uh, I love opening up and seeing what's inside. It's like a surprise venture. Okay, so now I do want to let's see, I have this paper. Put it that way, then I could put a tuck in it, but I think I like it this way better. Or we put it that way. No, I don't like that. We need to find some other paper here. I don't know that I brought out enough of my scraps but boy do I have scraps tons 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 of it it's just a matter of sometimes just finding the right thing I like this pink But I like the jagged edge better. So I'm just going to scrappy it a little bit, but I don't have a lot of room. Because the other one isn't quite tall enough. I think I want something right in here, but we'll ink this up and get it laid down and go from there.
called my sister this morning to see how she was doing. And as usual, she never answers. But hopefully she'll call me back. She lives in North Carolina. And I want to plan a trip before winter, I hope, to see her little trailer. She bought a little trailer and uh, she works part time at her hospital there in their gift shop and she is hoping when this COVID thing ends that she's going to be able to go full time which would be nice for her I have this fuchsia coffee dyed paper that I did some splatter paint on and tried to use it in the journal but it didn't come out so hot so as usual I pulled it out and it's sitting in my scrap bin Let's see if we like that. Yeah, not too bad. So let's ink up the edges a little. Well, it would be nice to get this one page done. We've done quite a lot to it, but still have a lot more to do before I finish this guy, and I might have to finish it off screen and then give you the rundown when it's over. You know, I think I like that side better. Okay, well, there you go. <clears throat> it's less uh, obtrusive. Pulls out a little of the heart, the pink heart stuff, and not so bright. Sorry, pink page. But we use everything. Yeah, I can feel the sweat dripping down the back of my neck already. One little hole. Cut this, trim this off at the top here. One little hole. Let's see if this little green piece works. that up too much so make it just a little skinnier Glued that down, I guess. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I have a hair appointment scheduled for the week. And last time, uh, because the salons weren't open, we couldn't go indoors, so they, the salon, does the hair outside, which was very interesting. And I never had my done, my hair done outdoors. 
but it came out fine and I was happy to get a cut. Yesterday I did my nails. I read that during times of crises or high stress things, it's a good idea to take care of yourself. So, I'm trying to do that. Some days it's harder than others. Oh, I wanted it this way. So let's go this way. Right across, edge to edge. And I'm gonna have to clip this off just a little bit because my little <clears throat> CD holder won't close. Properly. I think I have it down pretty good. Do a little frame. I do want something right in here. Maybe some kind of lace or something. I have this organza ribbon. It's kind of a purplish pink. Yeah, too stiff too stiff. I have this little piece. I don't like that either. Okay. Having a hard time. Well, we'll come back to that. You know, I think I might put This little envelope up here. No, don't like that either. Okay, well, we'll just leave it like that for today. So we put this little flap on the Elizabeth Browning Bar or Barrett Elizabeth Barrett Browning poem. And so I don't know if that. I think we should probably put this one down first and this one over it. I was contemplating what to do with this flap. I might just cut it off and then hopefully when we put something in it, it won't interfere. So let's just do that very carefully. Cut it off. Oops. Do a very good job. I got a little extra there. Fixed. Okay, so that goes that way, and that goes that way. And then we'll do this. And then I think we're we'll start putting tags in. So there we have it. I am gonna, real quick, cause I got a couple minutes left. I am gonna put the back piece on, which we had talked about last time. Uh, back here. So we're gonna hinge here and put this old world piece, although it's very orange, I'm thinking it's a little too orange. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, I'll decide, and then if I put it on, then we'll decorate it next time. I thank you all for stopping by and crafting with me today. Please don't forget to subscribe down below and click the bell for notifications so when I upload new videos, you'll be able to see. Thank you again and God bless you all. Bye-bye.